Okay, so a client buys a home, they close on it. What's like the number one thing that you would suggest that they do to protect themselves? The first thing I would do if I was to buy a home is to put a transfer on death deed on the home. Texas in 2015 passed a law called the Texas Real Property Transfer on Death Deed Act. Real complicated, <laughs> That's but a tongue uh, yeah, it's it's a complicated law, but it, it, it's not complicated in effect. Basically, essentially, what it does, it allows you to put a deed in deed records and to say, I want my house at 123 Main Street to go to my wife when I pass away. And then when my wife has passed away, I want it to go to my kids. Then all you have to do is give a death certificate and affidavit of death to deed records and they'll transfer title and you'll have clean title. Then you can sell the property if you were to need to sell it or, or whatever in the future. And so that would skip the whole probate side of things because you have that transfer on death deed? Absolutely. And one thing that people don't realize is that their house doesn't automatically pass to the spouse when they pass away in Texas. So whenever you and your spouse take title to your home, if you take a title, and, and most people take title jointly in Texas because we're a community property state, so a husband and wife's names will be on there. If husband passes away, his estate now owns half of the house. It doesn't automatically go to the wife. So that's why the transfer on death deed is valuable because it allows you to say, I want my interest, my estate's interest to go to my spouse. And then you can skip the thousands of dollars and the time and, the, and just the pain of the probate process in Texas. Wow. How come? Is this like a new thing? I've never heard of this. Well, it's it's available in maybe a third to a half of the states, okay. and it, it passed into law, like I said, in 2015. So it's it's relatively new as far as laws go. You don't you don't hear a lot about it, but I do it in probably 95% of my estate plans at this point.